Loggers Pow. Right, it's time to have a look at some underrated arcade shoot 'em ups. Right, so first off we have Arc Area by UPL. Okay, right, so let's get a cut in. Right, alright, so here is the area of the arc, whatever it is, and Right. Oh, I see. Okay, so... Oh, crap. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with these controls. You seem to have a button which helps which does sort of rotate you. Oh, you hold it down and then move and it rotates you in a direction, but then locks. Oh, blimey. Game move already. Okay, let's have another bash for that. Oh, and we've got a boss. And we're automatically facing the wrong way for the boss. And it's jumping around like a knock. Yes. Right, so we've Well, then again. I mean, if the rotating thing was a bit easier to to use, that's um. That would be. make more sense, but at the moment. There doesn't seem to be any discernible way to rotate the way you want to rotate without crashing into something. I don't know if I'm actually the damage is just resetting each time, but there we go, we've got it. And we still on the same stage, right? Okay, so lots of pickups here. Oh, another boss, got it. Got it. And that's the end of that particular area. That's so strange. Okay, area two. Jesus, how many areas? There's 20 odd areas there. It's mad. You know, a bit more of a handle on how this thing works. Oh, exactly where? That's quite nice. Things to collect here, and boss. Well, this weapon's making short work of this boss. Wow, that level was over a lot quicker. It was easier than the first level, which is really, really strange. Okay, on to area three. Zappy laser thing. Well, oh, it ran out. Brilliant. Well, oh, it's the weapons that run out of power. That's rubbish. And there's game over. Yeah, that's a really badly flawed game, actually. Um, mm, not really deserving of anybody's time. Right, next up we have Cobra Command. But not the laser disc Cobra Command, which is also by Day Trees, but the sideways scrolling shooting watch Cobra Command, which is also by Day Trees. Excellent. 
put your code name in. I, I don't want to. Oh, hello, Square Chin. Speak to me in Japanese. Good luck. So, again, you've got two buttons. Okay. This time, a downward shoot, which is very handy. It's the power of the gun. It's the power of speed. What's this say? Power of inside. Okay, so we've got lots of nice power ups going on here, but pretty decent spread going on. Like your mother. This is jolly. Now this did get a conversion to the Nez, I believe. Oh shit! It's got a metal tit in the ground. Throwing flames at me. That was weird. Right. I wonder how far back we've gone. Let's make some missiles. Oh, I see. Look, there it is. Sticking out the sand. Destroy it before it gets a chance. Oh, some tanks. Oh, a big tank. Dead. Oh, is that the end of the stage? Okay, cool. Change the music, but no change the scenery. It's one of those games where the downward firepower is so good. Staying at the top of the screen is really going to be your best bet. I'm hoping no planes do all that slow. Do that. Oh, I've got a laser. There we go. This is a beam up laser, so. I'm still firing my downward shot. And I'll type it up for uh, the rest of it. Oh, this looks dodgy. What? Seriously, one hit. One hit. Stages where the scenery kills you as well. I've got my arm cut laser anymore, which is a shame. But life quite enjoying using that. Oh, yeah, look, scenery. Very close to scenery. Stuff. Oh, we did it again. And it's game over. That's actually still good fun. Enjoyed that. Good. Wow. If you want to stick loads of stuff to your sports car, that's the way to go about it. Turbo this is Turbo Force. Made by the same people who made the Sonic Wings games. And it shows, doesn't it? It really does show. Do you control your flying car? You shoot stuff, you will appear to only have one attack button. You may be able to pick up some more weapons in a minute. Who knows?
go. There's a weapon which makes this slightly more powered up. Oh, that is considerably more powered now. Excellent. Yeah, you can see this, the Sonic Wings uh, lineage here, can't you? Does it look like a Sonic Wings style game, except Sonic tires, maybe? Sonic exhaust pipes. Sonic manifolds. Sonic hubcaps. Sonic the hubcap. Ooh, it's a, it's a mystery. It's all the way over there, I'm going to wait for it to come back. Oh, it's. Attacking headless robots. It'd be nice if we had a smart bomb or some type that we could actually just use on command. Is this three players? This looks like this is actually a three player game, which makes it very bizarre. I don't think I've ever seen an upward scrolling three player shooter like before. Very bizarre. I'm very tempted to just press the three up buttons and see what happens. Let's just... I'll put credits into all three of them. Yeah, there we go. It's a three player game. They're going to die horribly. Because no one's controlling them. It's nearly dead. A really long winded boss battle without having any bombs or anything. So, takes a lot of doing. And we're straight into stage two with no missing, no cutscene, no congratulations or anything. And we're straight on and we're in red car and blue car and race, green car actually one because it just sat there, did nothing. Shit. Yeah, um it's unusual but it's it's You can see where they got some of the ideas for the Sonic Wings games in this and how it developed, but this is just literally really, really quite boring. Well, I said I was going to do a boring shoot some up episode, this was accidentally turning into it. Uh, I wasn't intending to. Should we play something else? Yeah, play something else. Right, this is Stral. Um, something like that. Um, okay, so we've got a weapon select, so that's a laser, and a homing, and a big bomb. Excellent. Be careful. Easy. And so far, so good. This looks nice. Nice big chunky explosions there. Wow, big chunky explosions. I'll have a look at this, one I've not played before. Of course, I think because you pick the weapons at the beginning, you don't get any bonus weapons while you're playing. Maybe they get pulled up slightly, I'm not sure. And this is by UPL, the same people that did um, Arc Area, I can't remember what it was called, Arc Area, what it was called, um, previously, uh, on this very same video, and it's obviously a lot better. Uh, big bombs are limited, I seem to have run out of them. Shame we could do with one there, but no, that's fine. Coming to a boss now. Okay. There's some boulders landing on top of something. How do you get bombs back?
Destroy is actually pretty fun there. Let's be destroyed. Let's be destroyed. Yeah, it's not taking longer than this at all. It's playable. And then equal the boss. Very nice. Uh, it probably would have done quite well on a Mega Drive, or Super Nintendo, or PC Engine. This is, uh, interesting. This is actually, I would say, probably a somewhat of a hidden gem. Nice one with beard and glasses. No oh, beard and glasses. Beard and long hair. It's gonna be nearly dead soon, isn't it? Take this sweet time when I'm dead. Yeah, that's uh, it's also right, isn't it? Yeah, that's um, yeah, interesting. So there were four underrated arcade shoots rocks. What did you think of them? Comment below. Yeah, subscribe or naff off.